Hello, hello, all you amazing people out there. Welcome to tonight's Facebook Live. My name is Elizabeth Giles, and I am coming to you live from the Stampin' Unicorns Craft Room here in Marshfield, Wisconsin. And I see it just popped up on my laptop, so give me a moment while I get that grabbed here. Just going to share it to my personal page. So, share now. All right. Well, I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Um, oh, today is Tuesday, October 4th. And yes, it's October already. Can you believe it? I just cannot believe it. I mean, October. I don't know. Like, where has the season's gone. Where was August? Where was September? Like, it just seems like it was here and now it's gone, right? So, it is October 4th. I'm just going to adjust this a smidge. Okay. Um, this past weekend on October 1st, I had my 200K party. And thank you so much for everyone who attended. It was a nice, like, little make and take free event. I had so much fun. Hello, Kathy Larson. And I really, truly appreciate everybody who took time out of their day to swing in. I saw some people I haven't seen in a while, which is awesome. And it was a Saturday mid-morning type thing. So those that can't make it to like my events on the weeknights, that was super awesome that I could see you there. And hopefully we'll have maybe some more little things like that upcoming. It wasn't too horribly expensive to rent that that um, room for the that time frame, but still takes a lot of prep and a lot of other things. So, you know. Yes. So, um, as Jenny just posted, free shipping today. Now, when I am done with my Facebook Live, I'm going to be finalizing my order to put in. So if anybody has any small little things to put in, just let me know and I can add them to my order. Um, it is free shipping with an order of $75 or more. So if you have just a couple things that you need ordered, just shoot me a message, shoot me an email or a text. But I can tell you I will be trying to go to bed by 9 p.m. tonight. So there's that. Hello, Sean and Eunice. Oh, goodness. It has been a little crazy these last couple of days. Unfortunately, we have somebody out sick. Um, so I have been, on Monday, I worked open to close, and then today I opened. And don't get me wrong, opening is just at 7 a.m., and it's not that bad. But I'm also going to the branch to train somebody, and you all know I love my late nights. So I just cannot turn off, and so I do need to turn off tonight and go to bed early. Do you guys see the bags under my eyes? That's a real thing. Hello, Joan. Hello, Roz. So I will be placing my order, finalizing it here, right after we're done with Facebook Live, and then it's nappy nap time for Miss Liz. <laughs> so... Oh, and then, you know, upcoming, I don't know when it is, but I see people posting about it, about fall back, but I think that's in November. I don't remember, but fall back always screws me up too. It just screws me up because I like to stay up late, and then I look at the clock, and I'm like, it is only that time, but anywho, oh, so... This is going to be a good evening. I am going to be doing a play on one of the make and takes from my event this last weekend. So I'm going to show you the simple stamping version. Then I'm going to show you the version that we made at my make and take. And then I'm going to show you an up-stepped version of that make and take. So that is what is in plan for tonight. Um, I do just have a few things to show you, and then we're going to get started, get this party started. For those of you who haven't signed up, I do have that, uh, the Bring Your Crap and Craft event coming up at the end of October, and there are still, amazingly, like 10 openings or something. So if you haven't signed up yet for that, it's $50 for all weekend 
We provide food all weekend long. And then you just get to sit back and relax. So even for $50, you get three to four meals. Like Sunday's kind of a weird meal. So for $50, like you can't even go to Mickey D's for less than 15 bucks anymore per person. So check that out. Um, all right. I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera around. I have some goodies to show you guys. Um, and I'll kind of talk about them just a smidge and then we'll get to our stamping presentation. Yay. Right. Roz, you just got to get on one of those flights. I was just looking at a flight from West Palm beach to Chicago. It was like 69 bucks. <laughs> Chicago is still five hours away, but you know, <laughs> sometime Chica, sometime. All right. Let's go ahead and flip it around here. I just got to undo this one. I'm getting a little bit better at unscrewing these things, but they still kind of get me. That looks pretty good. Okay. My comment on my laptop is new comments. There we go. All right, so look at this little bin here, right? So um, those of you know, I was unable to attend in person to backstage with Stamping Up, but they did send me my little goodie bag. So here's an awesome reusable tumbler. Then here is my lanyard. Isn't that cool? Like, seriously. And then if you wanted to, you could, like, write little notes or whatever on there. And this here is an awesome, oh, my gosh, I wish you guys could feel this. It is so smooth. It says New Orleans on it. This awesome pen, and this pen is, like, a triangle, so it doesn't roll away, right? And just a nice little, like, journal. And then my pin and a personal fan. And New Orleans is always a good idea. Very cute, right? And then this cute, which I plan on using this for a ton of stuff, right? This bag here has a divider in it. So it's like a felted. And then this dividing system, ooh. so it's a half, oh, I did it wrong. It's this way. It's very sticky. Yes, my favorite color on the inside is purple. And all of them have purple accents. So this is really, and obviously I don't have it like all right. But check that out, right? Pockets on the outside, very cute, very cute. So super excited about this. I know it's such a girly thing to be excited about a bag, but I think this is going to be a very useful bag. I mean, look at that. It fits my cup like almost perfectly. So one of the things I wanted to just, yes, on stage, swap, totally happening, Jenny. So one thing I just wanted to talk about tonight is a starter kit promotion. So right now, if you are interested, the month of October, you can actually join Stampin' Up for a hundred and oh for $99, you get $155 worth of stuff. Now, what I'm going to tell you is for $99, you actually get more towards $200 worth of stuff. Because you get a free paper pumpkin kit, which I am going to talk about paper pumpkin in a moment. That's valued at $22. You get free shipping on this. You um, also get catalogs. Now, I know what you're saying. Like, you don't want to sign up for um, doing, like, what I do. And that's perfectly fine. But you can still hand out catalogs to your friends. Um, and then you also get... Um, Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Oh, you get a 20% discount, like, immediately. So if you are interested in signing up for this, you are literally can choose any products for $155 and pay $99 plus tax. This is the best deal out there. You are getting what? I can't do math. $56 worth of product for free. That is, like, close 
That is over 50% of the cost. So you pay $99, you get an additional 50% of products for free. So let me know if you're interested in this. I got a little things here. I don't know why. But um, definitely a great deal. Um, and you don't have to do anything after you sign up. Once you sign up, you can um, just get the discount. Yep, just like Jenny. And you can come to these awesome events if you want. Um, you don't have to do any of that stuff. There's just so many different things that you can or can't do or don't want to do or don't need to do. You're giving paper pumpkin treat boxes to, oh, yes. So this, I just wanted to show y'all. This was a paper pumpkin from September. Super stinking cute. It came with Orchid Oasis ink spot. So you get an ink spot in each one. You get a stamp set. And then this is the treat boxes. So you got enough to make two, four, six, 18 treat boxes. If you are a paper pumpkin customer, you can actually get more of this refill. I think it's like 12 bucks or something like that. Crazy. Maybe even less. Um, if you're not a current subscriber, you can become a current subscriber and also get this kit because they have extras of these. Now, next month, they are going to be doing... Um, this is going to be Christmas cards. That's not it. Here it is. So it is going to be nine cards, three of each design, and you got kind of a sneak right there with Mr. Santa and a Mary and some awesome iridescent snowflakes. So, yeah, yeah, exactly, Carmen. And super easy to put together, and all everything is right there. So if you've got anybody special or anything like that, I am getting more of these. I'm not going to tell you all why, but I am getting more of them. For a different reason, too. Okay, now my last spiel before we get to stamping, I know I'm talking a lot tonight, is I have one class left for the Glitz to Go class. So this is uh, eight cards all together. Everything is cut. I'm just going to peel this open. Everything is cut. Um, all you need to do is add sentiments and I'm going to show you here the card. So you get two of each card. So there's four different designs. So two of this one, two of this one, two of that one, and two of this one. So if you are interested in this, I only have one left. It is $25 for the whole packet and all you need is ink and a sentiment stamp. Everything else is die cut for you. Um, all of your accessories are here. Uh, every, everything's done for you. So, all right. Let me know if you're interested in that. Like I said, I only have one left. If you want it shipped, I can do that too. It would probably fit in a flat rate. Um, so probably like $8. So if you're interested, let me know. All right. I think we're ready to go. Who's ready to stamp? I think my square is messed up because it's definitely messed up here. Let me get this. This just helps me stay in frame as I'm stamping. So that looks about right there. And this is going to be okay as well. We're a little wide, but that's okay. All right. Not a problem. Roz, you want that? I'll hook you up, girl. I'll hook you up. All right. So we are making tonight. So this is the card we did at the make and take. Yes, spoiler alert. So we are going to do a step down from this and a step up from this. Now the step down, I got to get a piece of thick white. Oh my gosh, where is that thick white? It was not in my stuff here. Um, Carmen, I use a discounted thing, so I think it's, I think it's eight. <laughs> oh, you want to stamp. Sorry, Ross. <laughs> you want to stamp. All right. No problem. But yeah, so the let's to go class. If anybody wants it, just shoot me a message. All right. I got to find a piece of thick white because it's not on my shelf. 
Here's a piece. That's right. I used it all. Okay. So here we go. We're going to use the same colors for all of these. So the colors that I chose, and they are a little crazy. We have Blackberry Bliss, Cajun Craze, Mango Medley, Melody, and Soft Succulent. So just, I mean, they're very unique. You can see that they got a little dirty this weekend. That's okay. So these are the colors we're going to use, and the stamp set is called Forever Fern. Now this Forever Fern, it is truly amazing. It's got awesome colors, awesome just details in there. So we are using quite a few of these. Woo! Boom. How many of you guys like to use foliage? It is fall and this and that, but... Um, this can pertain to anything. You can see I have like these super bright colors on here too. And it's just, it's very easy to use. You don't need a lot with it. So that's what I am going to show you tonight. Here we go. And then we need one for our saying. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, I believe you. Love it, Chica. I got you, girl. No offense taken. No worries. Oh, my goodness. This black is dirty, too. All right. Well, we're going to get going with this. This is our easy peasy card. So it is a thick white cardstock. And all I did was score it in half. So it is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a fourth. We're going to fold our card base in half and then use the bone folder to burnish the edge. Perfect. Now this might be a little hard to see where this is, but trust me, it will work out. So we're going to do all of our stamping on our card. So we want to do just a single layer. It's going to be simple stamping. And I'm going to stamp the stain first. I know we don't normally do this. But when we're dealing with this foliage, I want to make sure I have enough space around the words so they don't get a little bit congested. And we're just going to do it kind of up towards the top and off to the side. Very good. Yay. Step one, mastered. <laughs> All right. So step two is going to be doing our stamping up and down and all around this thing. And I like to start with what I consider is the biggest one first. And that's going to be this piece right here. And this is going to get stamped in soft succulent. And it's just like going to be super random. And since I know where my saying is here, I can um, like work off of that. And I think that's good for right now. You, we can always come back and add more later. The next one is going to be a Cajun Craze. All right. And we're going to come in and go, I think, up here. All right. And then we have Mango Med Melody. I don't know if this is, actually that isn't the next one. I want to do the dark one first. So this is in our Blackberry Bliss. And we're just going to bring that kind of tight into there. All right. Now the last one, because it's the lightest colored one, and we can kind of peek it in and do what we need to do. Um, is in that mango and you guys can see the detail in this stamp like I don't have to do anything to get that awesome detail right there and that's it this is what we call a simple stamping card like literally this is all we need it's beautiful if you wanted you could do it a little higher up but I don't want like a whole ton of foliage there you can add a couple embellishments if you wanted, 
but I sometimes it's just nice to have a nice flat card. And if you want, you could add just a smidge to the inside, like maybe a couple of these. Well, while we're at it, we'll just do all three. There. So just a little blimp on the inside. And then don't forget your envelope too, right? You could easily just stamp one on there. Well, hello, Michelle. So that is card number one. Super easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? So we're going to step that card up a little bit. Add a couple layers, some ribbon. So for that card, we have a different color background. This is Sahara Sand. So again, it's an eight and a half by, a, oh, eight and a half by five and a half. And then you can score it at four and a fourth. Or um, when I'm working with this other cardstock like this, I just fold it in half and burnish it. This, if you want, you can stamp on the inside. And we're just going to stamp, I think the Blackberry Bliss looks the prettiest on this card. So I'm just going to stamp the Blackberry Bliss on the inside. That's all we need to do with this. Our saying is going to go on a strip of Blackberry Bliss. And that is going to get stamped in the same color. Now my greeting, I'm actually going to do it upside down. I want it more towards the top, so this is wider than what my greeting is. So if I do it upside down so the top is towards me, I have a better guide than if I'm doing it the other way around. See how close I got that to the top? And that is exactly what I wanted. So I'll show you what it looks like the other way around. Because I'm looking at it from my side. I'm even standing. Uh, that's pretty good. But... I'm always going to hit that right where I want it. Okay, so this can get set aside. Now it comes to the stamping. So we have a couple of layers on this card. We have a mat, and then we have our white base, which we're stamping on. And this is going to go right on our card front. So let's take our white, our white card stock here, and we're going to do the same thing. We are going to add... And you can follow the same pattern, but on this one, we're going to do a shorter pattern, a shorter one on this side. So start with the biggest, then we're going to go to this one. I don't know if I call this one the biggest, but it's definitely the tallest. All right, now our, I don't know if these are berries, but they kind of look that way to me, so that's what I've been calling them, even though I'm pretty sure that's not right. <laughs> oh, I just love this, love this. And if you'll notice, I'm not like, I turn my card, I don't turn my stamp really. It just gives me slightly more control over what I'm doing. Okay, and then the last one, is this awesome fresh color that just makes everything vibrant. Now this one's kind of short and pudgy, so to get it in where we need it, we're going to be overlapping pieces for sure. All right, so this is what we have for the card front. You can see I left it kind of gapped so that when we put that piece on, it's not covering everything up and you have a little bit of a voided space. All right, so the dimensions on these, so this is your standard card front. It's going to measure four and a fourth by five and a half when folded. This here is a fourth of an inch smaller. So this is four inches by five and a fourth. And this one is an eighth of an inch smaller, okay? So three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. Now we're going to go ahead and put these two together. 
do 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 okay that that one is not liking me right now so we're just gonna grab another one this multi-purpose glue is so inexpensive and so easy to use that I don't mind when it runs out. Okay, now we're placing this on. This piece is, I believe, one inch. And then it is the same width as the white. So five and an eighth. And we're gonna just bring that down a smidge. Okay. Now lastly, we gotta tuck our ribbon in here first. That is so crooked, Elizabeth. Boop, there we go. We gotta do our ribbon trick. Where did I put my ribbon? Okay. So for the ribbon trick, now these are just pre-cut to sizes because I had them at class, right? But you could leave this tied or leave this attached to your ribbon end and do this ribbon trick. Now, I know I've showed this numerous times, but I had a couple people at my class not know how to do it. So I'm going to show you again. So you take one end of the ribbon. Now pretend this is still attached to the spool over here. So you will take one end of the ribbon and tie it once and then tie it twice around this cylinder so um, when you pull it tight you want to make sure that your ribbon is pulled straight towards the edges okay now you slide this off and you take your snips or your ribbon scissors whatever you got and you are going to snip this at an angle and you get a perfect knot. See? Now this you can easily tuck behind your card. I just happen to have some regular tape here and we are going to tape that around. Boom. Super easy to make a knot and it looks good every single time. Now we are adding a multi-purpose glue to put that right to where we want it. And on this card, I did add a few of our flowered adhesive back trinkets. And it doesn't matter which color you use. Like seriously, any of the hues are going to look good. So we'll just grab some from here. Boom. They're just chunky enough to stand out on here. So here is card number two. So card number one, super simple. Card number two stepped up. Now, card number three we are going to really step it up, okay? Let me, now these are gonna be the same colors except one of them is gonna be a little something special. So I just got to grab grab that other paper and We are going to use the same elements as our last card. So we have our ribbon and the same exact dimensions here. We are going to change it up just slightly. And this piece is not going to be this color. We're going to have a Blackberry Bliss piece instead. And you will see why. I do need to stamp this off. See, I, I knew I needed to do something. This needs to go bye-bye. Bye-bye. Wow, this cleaner will not do me any good. Any good. Puff does. Let me see if I have a cleaner in my bag here. I know I do. So just give me a moment. A moment. All right. Here we go. 
Okay. Any guesses on what will really step this card up? We're actually going to do a couple of things. And it's going to be like a, whoa, that is way too many steps for me type of card. But it will be okay in the long run. Like these are going to be the cards that are really for those special, special people. So um, I do need to cut just a piece of this Blackberry Bliss um, really quick. Like, where are my scraps? I know I have scraps. Where are you? Where are you, scraps, Blackberry Bliss? That is not Blackberry Bliss. Um, let me grab them from my back bucket. Rich Razzleberry, Blackberry Bliss. Thank you. Here we go. This is a scrap piece. Winka, bling, mmm, mmm, no, okay, five and a fourth. I'm going to cut this to one inch by five and an eighth. Okay, here we go now, here we go now. So we need this piece. We need this piece. We're going to have to stamp this piece first. So let's get to stamping because we got to let it dry a smidge. That's a little bit of a hint. A little bit of a hint. Okay. So we are going to come in with our colors here. You guys can see I am barely like pushing on this. And we're going to do pretty much the last card. Um, where we had both ends stamped, both sides stamped. Okay, so that's good. Stamp this guy off because he's dead to me now. Ah, uh, not bleach. Oh, Jenny, embossing. What kind of embossing? All right, let's bring in, let's do that just a tall. And then we'll do it a little shorter there. Yeah. All right. I don't do it very often enough anymore. Okay. Yeah, there. We're gonna just bring it like that, I think. Heat, yes, yes, baby. We are going to get it hot in here. We will not take off all our clothes because that's not the type of show I am hosting. <laughs> oh, it is one of those nights. You guys would not know that I have a headache from you know where. Like, it is just blaring in my brain and it's because I have not been getting enough sleep. I know. I am typically an eight hour day sleep e body. All right. So we have all of these awesome colors again. We are going to grab our stamp set and get out one of these other ones here. We could do the speckles. Oh, that would be kind of cute. Maybe we'll do the speckles. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. See, I'm just designing on the fly. All right. Speckles it is. And then we have... Where is my gold? This is copper. Here's my gold. Gold embossing powder. And Versamark. Where is my embossing buddy? Here we are. Okay. My embossing buddy is super old. So we're going to give it a little love. The embossing buddy is very important. Now we do have um, the kit, which I have around here somewhere. But I've been doing some projects, so it's in a project right now. But we have a kit that includes an embossing buddy, a little um, paint brush to swipe off things, a tray, 
and oh, a tweezers. Boom. So make sure to check that out while it's still here. So the embossing buddy is very important. You are going to use that to get any stickiness off of your surface. And also, um, if there's anything wet yet, any static, anything like that. So you don't get those extra little pieces. And then we're going to do that on our Blackberry Bliss as well. All right. So where did my baggie go? I mean, this thing is super old, you guys. Super old. And it's important. So that's why you keep it. All right. Next, we are going to use some Versamark. This is, Versamark, for those of you who don't know, is a clear pigment ink, which means when you stamp it, you will not see it. If you let it dry, it will leave a watermark, but we are going to emboss with it, so we are not just going to let it dry. Oop, I want this upside down again we are going to be doing a ribbon again. Boom. So you can barely see that on there. If I let it dry, it would stay like that. We're going to add some speckles. And this is just like, I got to try and remember where I stamped it because you are not going to be able to see where you stamped it. So I just want a few random okay now we're going to add our gold embossing powder embossing is one of the first things that I fell in love with with stamping up I was so amazed how this powder you can heat it up and it literally will look like foil okay that's good I'm just using my lid to kind of scoop it out of my container. I don't remember where I stamped this at all, so I'm going to have to pretty much cover my whole my whole thing here. Meep, meep, meep. All right. Let's see how well I can do this. I know I stamped it four times near the bottom and three times up on top. Okay. I think those spots all look good. Now you want to tap it really good. So see how I got just a smidge of um, embossing powder on there? Just kind of flick it with your hand. And if you had that brush, which I have one, I just don't know where I, I put it. It's in a kit. You could just brush away those little extras. All right, now it's time to heat it up. This may get a little loud. So just so you're aware. And your tweezers are what's really good for holding this. I still have the whole old, old heat tool. So mine just has one setting. The new heat tools has a low and a high, which is amazing. And it's not nearly as loud as what this is. So you guys can kind of see this turning from a pale matte color to a foil color. Oh yeah. That's the stuff right there. Oh, beautiful. And next, we're going to do this piece. Ah, there's a little smidge of the bling bling. Yes, the bling bling, as Jenny has corrected me. Alright, then up here. Right, that looks great. 
Not sure how well y'all can see it, but I will show it up to you closer when I get everything pieced together. And I'm just going to set this where I know it won't get all full of stuff. All right. I did get a little bit of powder on my workstation. Let's assemble. So we're going to go ahead and do the same ribbon tie trick. One and two, pull it straight across, slide the loop off. and snip. Now that's a little off, so I'm gonna snip down that edge. Right, what are friends for? <laughs> okay, there we go. That looks wonderful. Yes. Okay, card base. Let's go ahead and burnish our edge. Bone folder. Boom, boom. These two are going to get glued together. All right, it is going down. Now, since this has a little embossing on it, I am just going to hold it in place because it is a little warped from the heat embossing. There we go. Oh yes, oh yes. Okay, now let's put down our saying. And if I didn't already have this ribbon cut, I probably would have went with maybe a gold ribbon we have some very beautiful gold ribbons. I might still go with a gold ribbon, actually. Oh my gosh, I I love this. I love that. Hold on, let me grab, I know I have some scraps around here. Oh yes, this is kind of elegant too. Let's see what we think about this. This is actually a leftover from when I did my kit here oh my gosh yeah let's try this infatuated with this ribbon at the moment my um pc battery is running low so if you guys comment i may not see it because the camera is above my head so oh yeah i think that is definitely a step up. Sorry, satin shimmer ribbon. I love you yet. Okay. But for the purpose of this demonstration, I think a step up is definitely this ribbon versus the other one. Okay. And bring that right along the edge there. It's so cool because you can see some of the stamping through there yet. Right? I can hear him like brushing his teeth and getting ready for bed because I told him that I was going to bed early. So I think he goes to bed typically way before I do. All right. Oh my gosh. Yes, a thousand times yes. And then we are going to bring in the gold flowers. So the gold ones are right here. I only have three gold ones left. So perfect. And that will definitely bring out the gold embossing. Check this out. Oh my gosh. So in love with it. Now, do I know anybody getting married or their anniversary, right? Exactly. You took the words out of my mouth, Kathy. 
Uh huh. <laughs> All right. So, y'all, if anybody needs anything from Stampin' Up, I am going to be placing my order in the next like 15, 20 minutes. So, make sure to message me right away. Free shipping. And then you can just pay me when it comes in. So, these are the three cards we did tonight. So, simple, medium, and definitely advanced. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys had a lovely evening. And I will see you next Tuesday, more than likely. I will be at a hotel. Um, so, more than likely, I will be hopping on here. But I can't guarantee anything. So, all right, you guys, have a great evening. I will talk to you later.